Britannian fighter jet was a fixed-wing jet-powered aircraft in use by the Holy Britannian Empire sometime prior to 2017 ATB. The fighter was a single-seat craft used by the Britannian Air Force for aerial combat, and it carried its weapons inside an internal weapons bay. The craft only ever appeared in a flashback uh, during the show, but it was used during the Second Pacific War, and specifically during the Britannian invasion of Japan. Uh, since it's never been seen again, it's likely that it was either replaced entirely or in part by a newer version in the interim, and then later uh, replaced by, or was replaced entirely from the get-go by nightmare frames with float systems uh, and float system equipped uh, warships. It's also referenced uh, by Shogo Asashina in episode 6 of the second season of Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. The fighter shares a look with the real-life McDonnell Douglas Northrop YF-23 Black Widow. However, it doesn't have the same stealth capabilities as the F-22 Raptor, or indeed its real-life counterpart, uh, as its metallic appearance and exposed intakes uh, would break up the stealth line, making it visible to ground and fighter-equipped radar. However, considering that it's either the same generation as or a generation beyond uh, the likely fighter fielded by Japan, something probably along the lines of the Mitsubishi F2, it's likely that the fighter wouldn't have too many issues in a dogfight. And that brings us to the end of this data file. Uh, another quick video for you today, but that seems to be the order of things. Uh, at least, you know, they're easier to edit. <laughs> and record, and all that stuff. Um, opinion on this? I mean, you know, we see it for three seconds, but it's cool looking. I would have loved to see a dogfight between this and, like, a, an F2, but, I mean, you know, I suspect its performance is probably very similar to the F-22 Raptor, except the enemy's c gonna see it coming. Maybe. It's, it's not clear if it's actually a stealth fighter in the show, but just by the way it looks. It doesn't look like it'd be a stealth fighter, but you know, this is a universe where mechs exist, so I don't know, maybe there's some kind of radar jamming system on it or something. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I don't know. You kind of can make up whatever you want about this, about this plane, because there's very little information on it. But I think it's a neat, uh, neat thing, and it's kind of nice to see, you know, it's not all mechs here. It's like, you know, especially in the, in the first season, it's like the Nightmare Frame is a very exclusive thing. Uh, it's hard to get them, and it's hard to get a good one. Uh, like, like getting a Gloucester in the first season. Boy, that's like, you've made it. You are in if you've got a Gloucester. Uh, I suspect even in season one, there's probably still some Glasgow's running around in Britannian service somewhere. Uh, I don't know, but there probably are. Season two, less so because it gets more, you know, regular. But in season one, you know, we're kind of at the forefront of Nightmare Frame technology. So it's nice to see, you know, Britannian tanks uh, and Japanese tanks for that matter and Britannian fighters and Britannian service ships, and all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of what, what a conventional war would look like in, in real life now, versus what it would look like in the in the future with mechs. So it's kind of nice. Uh, I like that they included it. I'm glad it wasn't just, here's here's a bunch of mechs. Kind of the same way that Evangelion does, where they have conventional weapons and mechs, rather than, you know, just having all mechs or, you know, something like that. But as far as the fighter, I mean, it's cool-looking design. I like the YF-23. Uh, that's always been an interesting fighter. Uh, I've seen the YF-23 at uh, Dayton, and it's a really cool-looking airplane, and I'm glad they uh, glad they decided to make it, uh, you know, kind of go an alternate route because Britannia is kind of an alternate United States, so they went with an alternate F-22 Raptor kind of F-23 situation. So I like that. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to say about this. It's kind of like the uh, World War II Viper from BSG. Not a whole lot on, on it. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And, uh... Oh, what, are, what are all the plugs I usually do? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Um, if you like badly written fanfiction, check me out on Wattpad. Say hi uh, on there. I think that's it. Any other shameless plugs that I usually do that I've forgotten about? Uh, stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't do anything dumb. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.